pull down the United Kingdom to such an extent there's a lot of people, most people in Scotland don't even listen to them anymore and they would, they would do well they, they would do well to reflect on this and, it's, and, it, and I'm trying to suggest no, not just for a second I'm trying to suggest this very gently to the honourable member he may be very critical of the UK at the moment and how the government conducts itself in our parliamentary democracy but we can be proud of the fact that this robust democracy is accommodating a very robust debate. On, if I may just say, I will take an intervention in a second. If I may suggest, in France, they can put up the cost of fuel tax and you've got people dead in the streets of Paris. In the America, they haven't had government for months. It is an important debate and there are differences across the House. But we can be proud of our parliamentary yeah, yeah. democracy yeah, yeah, yeah. in actually accommodating that debate. I will take one intervention. As he's busy lecturing to Scots in Scotland, I hope he'll reflect on this point that in Scotland today, the EU is far more popular amongst the people by about 18 percentage points than the United Kingdom is. Bear that in mind the next time he wants to lecture yeah, Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I actually think that's quite questionable, given the election, recent election results from the SNP and how badly they are doing, how badly the SNP are doing... No, just wait a minute, just sit down. I'm not, I've taken one intervention. How badly the SNP are doing when it comes to representing the interests of the EU, if you like, when it comes to election results. But can I put, can I put the SNP to one side for a second, Mr. Yeah, yeah. 